Developing tonight, two elderly people are in the hospital in critical condition after being pulled out of their burning home on North Meeker Drive near China. First responders say someone driving by saw the fire and called 911, and Jefferson County Sheriff's deputies responded along with firefighters. Tonight, 12 News reporter Kyle Orr says he was at the scene earlier, and Kyle, we're hearing that it was a deputy who pulled the first victim out of that burning home. That's right, Jordan and Brenda. I'm told there were two elderly people inside the home when it caught fire earlier this afternoon. A sheriff's deputy in the area was the first to respond, pulling off a daring rescue. When flames and smoke filled this home on North Meeker Drive near China, people passing by started calling for help. Fortunately, someone saw the house, saw the smoke and saw the fire and called. And the other fortunate thing is we have people in the area. A Jefferson County Sheriff's deputy and Jefferson County ESD one were first to arrive, moving fast to rescue two elderly residents trapped inside. One of our captains went into the house, was able to pull an individual out, elderly person out. Um, who has been transported to St. Elizabeth Hospital. Fire Chief Jody Herrera and his firefighters with Jefferson County ESD3 arrived right afterward. When uh, the fire chief from ESD1 got on scene, he was able to give a better report, and then when they effectively went in and made the rescue. My crews from ESD3 went in and got the second elderly person out and uh, got them all transported to the hospital. Chief Herrera says both of the people were taken to the hospital in critical condition. They're in serious condition right now. We'll know more later on their conditions as they progress. Hopefully they'll do well. After the house was cleared, it took firefighters from emergency service districts one, three, and four hours to put out the fire. With an older type wood structure, it's it's going to burn fairly easy, and because it's it's probably from. The 50s, maybe the 60s when that structure was built, but it is under control. The guys are doing a really good job and the humidity and heat's taking a toll on them. Firefighters tell us it's a bit too early to say what caused the fire, so their investigation is just beginning and we'll continue to keep you updated. In studio, Kyle Orr, 12 News.